Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are just gonna sit down. I'm wearing like no makeup, my little tank top, my little short shorts and a little hat and we are gonna declutter some makeup. So I've already gone through a lot. I'm trying to downsize my collection dramatically and so I've already gotten rid of a ton of stuff. So we are just gonna sit down and we are gonna go through the bucket of stuff that I've already decided to get rid of and I'm just gonna show you what I've decided needs to leave my house, needs to get out of here so I can have a clutter-free, a little more of a peaceful existence in the makeup community. So if you wanna see what I'm decluttering today and all the stuff I'm getting rid of, then sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and don't forget, like this video, subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. Okay, starting with foundations I'm getting rid of. This is the Wet n Wild, the Dewy Photo Focus Foundation. I really disliked the original Photo Focus, so I thought, ooh, I would love this Dewy one. A lot of people have loved this, especially who have dry skin, but it just does not work on me, creases really fast, and just looks terrible after a couple hours. The next is the Revlon Candid Foundation, and I actually did use this for a while during the winter. You can see I got a lot more use out of this than I did the darker shade, because I thought, oh, I'm gonna love this, I'm gonna keep using this. But I'm just a creature who tries a lot of products, and I'm just not getting the use out of this. So I'm probably gonna throw this one away, and then this one I think I maybe used one time, so I'm gonna give this to a friend who I know can use it more. I have the Pure Love Your Selfie Foundation. This is an incredible full coverage foundation. This comes in 100 shades on their website. 100 shades. It's insane, kind of a gimmick. But I picked this up, it's just way too dark for me. Even when I'm tan, even when I'm spray tanned on top of being tan, just too dark. So I'm gonna give this to a friend. The next is a luxury foundation from Chanel. It's the Ultra Latin. This is their kind of like medium to full coverage matte foundation. It's so beautiful, but I never wore it and it's definitely too light for me. Another luxury foundation, I have the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. When they reformulated this and came back with two formulas for the Forever Foundation, I was so, so excited. I was hoping this was gonna be just like the old Dior Star Foundation, which was perfection. No, this is trash. I do not like it. It breaks up on my skin after like a couple hours. Super fragrance. And I honestly think if I wear this more than two days in a row, I think it starts to break me out a little bit if I remember correctly. So this is a huge pass, no thank you. And another drugstore and final foundation is the CoverGirl Skin Milk. It's actually a pretty nice light medium coverage foundation, but it kind of smells like bread, which is super strange. And I, yet again, just never reach for this. So if I have someone who won't mind the smell and who likes a light to coverage foundation, I'll probably end up just giving this to them. But if I can't find someone, I'll probably just ditch this. I've already had it for a few months, so I'm not really sure on the shelf life. After six months, I usually like to get rid of most foundations. First concealer up is the Tarte Shape Tape. I know everyone's gonna drag me. I just don't like it. I recently retried this in a video and it just does not work for me. So I'm just gonna let it go. Plus they're probably close to expired. Speaking of expired, uh, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I have this in two shades. This was my holy grail concealer for I cannot tell you how long. It is chef's kiss, Mwah, so good. However, I've just had these for too long. I do not reach for it anymore and they're absolutely expired. I do not need to put these on my eyes. Um, next, I have a couple concealers from e.l.f. This is the Camo Concealer and this is a really, really good concealer. I have it in the matte and the hydrating finish. I've only kept one of each at this point. I think I had like three or four of these at one time, and I know I had at least two of these. They're both great concealers. However, I just don't reach for them, and they can either be better served with one of my friends using them, but I'm pretty sure both of these are coming up on the six month to a year mark, and so I probably don't need to keep either of them. They can probably both go in the trash. Next is actually my favorite concealer, so I'm not getting rid of this because I don't love it. It's just the shade is way, way, way too dark for me. It's the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. This is the super coverage. It's the shit, the best full coverage concealer. I love this so much. Wear it all, all the time. Absolutely one of my favorites. Another kind of higher end concealer. This one I do not love. This is the Magic Away Concealer. And you can see I've actually used like more than half of it because I was desperately trying to fall in love with this concealer. But it has this disgusting applicator and are you seeing how hard I'm trying to get this off? I cannot even get the lid off. And it's the grossest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Like, are you joking me? Is it even gonna focus? There we go. Look how gross that is. I hate it. And the lid is impossible to get on. Oh, I just dislike that so much. Packaging, a formula, not my favorite. And believe me, I tried. 
Next up, this is the Candid Concealer. This is from Revlon. This is actually a really great concealer. Really nice in the drugstore, medium coverage, super beautiful even on kind of dry skin under the under eyes. However, I just don't reach for it. I'm probably gonna give this to a friend I think will really, really love this. Next, another drugstore concealer. This is the Age Perfect Concealer by L'Oreal. This is a beautiful kind of serum-based concealer. It gives nice coverage, looked really beautiful on my skin, didn't crease. I just, yet again, do not reach for this, so I'm gonna give this to a friend. And then my last one is the Dior Flash Luminizer. This isn't really a concealer, it's more of a brightening product, but I've had this for so long. It's beautiful, but I just don't use it, and it's definitely, definitely expired. But let's move on to the next category. Okay, the next category I'm gonna tackle, this was blush, highlight, and bronzers. So I had a ton of these that I really, 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 really needed to get rid of. So to start things out, I am going to be getting rid of all of my single ColourPop blushes, highlighters. They are just, they're great, don't get me wrong. I really like them. It's just, I'm never, never reaching for these. So I think I'm gonna gift these to a friend. This was limited edition, and I actually really don't like this. This is one of the few highlighters from ColourPop that just really doesn't hit the mark. It looks okay on the finger. I was like, oh, maybe it'll be something. And then it just looks like absolutely nothing on the skin. So I was just very unimpressed. And I normally love things from ColourPop. And I love Aurora, one of my favorite princesses. Shout out, give a thumbs up to this video if you like Sleeping Beauty. But these are beautiful, but definitely have to go and I'm gonna give them to a friend. Okay, next up, three things from the Too Faced Tutti Fruity collection. So I have the first one here. This is Berries and Bubbly Blush and Highlighter. Uh, this is Strawberry, Strawberry, that's what it's called. And then this last one is called Pineapple Sun. It's a bronzer and highlighter duo. These are all super cute. This one, I found the blush didn't really pick up, but the highlighter was really beautiful. So I didn't reach for it a ton because I was only reaching for that. Strawberry is just not a blush color I reach for that often. So I never got a lot of use out of it. And this is really nice, but eventually I hit a really bad hard pan on the bronzer and it wouldn't pick up anymore and the highlighter is just okay for me. So I'm gonna be passing these on either to a friend if they really want them, but most likely I end up just getting rid of these. Okay, I never in my life thought I would say this, but I'm finally gonna be getting rid of all of my Wet n Wild single highlighters. I love them so much. Wet n Wild really does kill the highlighter game at the drugstore. They're just so, so good. This is Precious Petals. This is my original one. You can see it is severely damaged. It looks like absolute shit. The thing is so broken. This is so expired. I need to get rid of it. But you guys, it is the perfect color of highlighter. It is so blinding. It is so beautiful. It is everything you could want. They still make this shade, actually. I picked up a new one. It is actually the only one I'm gonna be keeping. I'll be keeping the new version of this, but I finally have to get rid of this. The other ones are so beautiful. These are brand new, and these are also blinding. I'm keeping one shade of these, but literally one swipe, one swipe. Are you kidding me? Those highlighters, they just cannot be beat, especially for the price point. So I'm probably gonna be passing these on to a friend, except for this guy. This needs to finally go away to highlighter heaven. But these, I will definitely be giving to someone to give them the love they deserve. Okay, moving on, we are just gonna be getting rid of more highlighters. I'm just gonna be laying a lot of these out. This is a Master Chrome highlighter. I'm actually getting rid of the uh, Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. I have barely used this, and that's the only reason I'm getting rid of it. It was really expensive, it's really beautiful, but I don't wear like glittery highlighters. So I'm gonna give this to a friend who I know will really, really love it. So that's gonna go. The You're So Jelly highlighter from Too Faced, I just do not reach for it. It's cute, probably give it to a friend. This is the KKW highlighter. I really don't like this formula. It looks fine. I Maybe on camera it'll look better. It's, I mean, yeah, it kinda looks okay on the camera. But for the most part, I just find on the skin, it really picks up on texture and just really looks glittery. Do not love that. This is my original Ofra highlighter. This is in the old packaging and everything. This is the Everglow Nikki Tutorials collaboration, the OG, obsessed with this. I hit pan on this shade. Um, I just don't use this ever anymore and I'm pretty sure this is expired. So this is gonna have to go finally. I have a Tarte, I don't think I've ever used this in my face. This is the Tarte Lit Chrome Paint. This is the highlighter version of like those eyeshadows that they make. I've never even worn this on my face because it is so intense. Like I just don't see how this wouldn't make my texture look like shit because you one swipe 
and you have crazy, crazy blinding. Like, are you kidding me? So I don't really know. I may try to use this once before I get rid of it, but I'm probably just gonna end up giving that to a friend who's really gonna love something like that. Um, I have a Metal Crush Highlighter from KBD Vegan Beauty. This is in the shade Gamma Ray. I like this. I bet I already have one, so I'm just gonna keep that one. And this is the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter. This is also a super, super underrated highlighter. Literally one swipe, boom. Like, so, so pretty. This looks like wet skin. Amazing. Another really great drugstore highlighting option that's also not expensive and gives you a beautiful high-end look. Okay, moving along, the next are a few face palettes I'm getting rid of. The first is the Too Faced. This is like a triple scoop highlighter palette. It's kind of cute. I really liked it. It looked amazing, so I ordered it online, but then I got it in person, and it is super, super glittery, so I'm just gonna have to pass this on to a friend. It's adorable and smells amazing. The next is, ooh, as I'm gonna throw it onto the screen, this is a MAC uh, blush highlighter bronzer little face palette from, I think, two years ago Christmas. So this is definitely expired, super cute. I think it was the Shiny Pretty Things collection. Love that, but it needs to go to a new home. And then the last thing is the Becca, Chloe, and Malika palette. It is so, so cute. Honestly, these formulas were stunning. This highlighter is one of my faves. You can't really tell on the camera, but it has like a dip in it. Loved it so much, but I just don't use this. And I'm gonna give this to a friend who I know will use this a lot more and give it the love that it deserves. Okay, last category to declutter was palettes. So first things first, I have two palettes from Charlotte Tilbury. I have the Dolce Vita and I have the Pillow Talk palette. So I've actually talked about this being one of my favorite everyday palettes, but the more and more I've played with it, the formula just isn't my absolute favorite with either of these. And I know I have a friend who will appreciate these more than me. So I'm gonna pass those on to her. I know she will love them a lot more than I do. I have the Aha uh -huh Honey palette from ColourPop. I saw this when it came out and I thought, oh my gosh, it is everything. I need it, must have it, give it to me. I've maybe worn this twice and both times I didn't really like the look. So I'm gonna give this to someone else. Another one from ColourPop is the Orangey Glad palette. Yet again, monochromatic, orange. I've maybe worn it once and I just did not like how it looked on me. So I'm going to pass this on to a friend as well. Both super cute, but both just definitely not my cup of tea. The next one is, oh, this kills me. This is limited edition. This is the Patrick Star MAC Quad. It is so beautiful. Someone gifted this to me and it is stunning. I hate to get rid of it, but I just really, really don't wear it. And I have a friend that is obsessed with purple smoky eyes. So I was like, well, she has to have this. Next is a little elf, little bite-sized palette. I talked about how wonderful this is. It is absolutely amazing. I just never, never reach for it. It gets genuinely lost in my drawers because it's so small and I have so many other palettes. So I'm gonna pass this on to someone else. And then I have the Neon Obsessions palette from Huda Beauty. This is in, I think, the Pink Obsessions. It is really pretty, don't get me wrong, but this stains my eyes worse than any other pressed pigment palette in the world. This makes me look like I'm bleeding from my eyeballs. So I'm probably just gonna throw this away. I don't know if I want any of my friends to use this on their face. But let's move on to some big palettes. Okay, the first big palette to go is gonna be the Mini MUA and Morphe collaboration. One, I don't use this palette at all. It's nice, the highlighters are okay, they don't pick up on my texture a lot. The shadow formula is a little inconsistent. I find all three of these pretty much look the same on my eyes. I also, I love Mani, don't get me wrong, but I would rather support Lunar Beauty. I don't really wanna support Morphe anymore. I don't stand for a lot of the stuff they do. So for multiple reasons, me not using this and the fact that I don't wanna support Morphe on my channel anymore, I am going to be decluttering this. Next up is the Latte 2 palette from Dominique Cosmetics. So, I love this palette. It is absolutely beautiful. It's just a neutral palette that I don't really reach for, and I really want this to get some use because it is so beautiful. I love Dominique Cosmetics. She's super chill. It's such an adorable palette. You can use this as a blush. You can actually use this shade to brighten on the face. And I know there's someone in my life who's going to get a lot more use and a lot more love out of this palette than I currently do. Okay, the next two are from Too Faced. The first one is actually the Pretty Rich palette. And aesthetically, I love this palette, okay? Looking at it, I was like, oh my gosh, those pans are so cute. You have the four pressed glitters, you have some mattes, you have some shimmers. But this is another palette that is really, really inconsistent. So this bottom row, I love these four shadows. But Don't Care At All, Princess Cut, and Filthy Rich are all just like, eh, when it comes to shimmers. 
Too Faced can really, really kill it with a shimmer shadow, okay? That chocolate gold palette is my absolute favorite, but they just did not mimic those formulas in here. And so overall, it's just a little too inconsistent for me. It's super cute though, so I'm sure I can find someone in my life who's going to love this a lot more than me and who's gonna get a little bit of use out of it because are you kidding me? It's too cute to just throw away. And the other one, I'm really shocked by this. This is the Too Faced Extra Spicy Palette. So I have the original gingerbread palette and I'm gonna keep that one, but I am getting rid of the Extra Spicy just because I don't find myself reaching for it. When it says Extra Spicy, besides like the actual shade Extra Spicy, the red shade, overall, I just don't find it to be that warm and gorgeous. It's just not my favorite. The formulas for these 10 packaging are almost always my favorites, but this is another one that has some inconsistencies. Candy Queen down here is a little glittery, chunky, not my favorite metallic. Lick the Spoon is beautiful, but Cookie Cutter, this one up here, yeah, Cookie Cutter looks almost exactly the same. And so overall, I just don't reach for this, but it's super, super cute. And I'm gonna give it to someone who I know will get a lot more use than I do. Okay, the last two palettes. First off, I have the Ofer Cosmetics Glitch Palette. It is super, super cute. They're all big shadows. They're all shimmery. They're all gorgeous. I just never, never reach for this. I use this for like my 90s video. Occasionally I'll reach for one of these to actually put on my face as a highlight because I believe it's like pretty much the same formula as their highlighters, which are perfection. But I just don't reach for this and I know there will be somebody who can get some more use out of this. And then my last palette is not one I don't like. I actually like it so much that I accidentally bought two of them. So this is the Fantasine palette from Marc Jacobs. It is so beautiful. A perfect just little palette to keep around for spring. I get beautiful looks out of this. So I've used my other one a million times. Bought this, forgot I had it, did one look with it, and then when I was putting it away, realized I already had it. So I'm going to give this to somebody who doesn't normally buy luxury goods and will appreciate this a lot more than I do, considering I already have one. Okay, everybody, I don't know about you, but after all the decluttering, I am ready to have a little bit of lunch and just kind of relax for the rest of my day. It gets a little bit exhausting when it's stuff you like, but you still know needs to go. It's just not quite, not quite as fun getting rid of it. But that brings us to the end of today's video. If you like what you saw today and you want to see more content like this, don't forget, comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It helps me out a ton. Click on my face so you can subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can see every time I post something new. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching. I love y'all.